like to take a minute and talk about the site plan. If you've been out to our site, you may have noticed that most of our development activity has been focused around Purfoy Road, but this is quite a large project. There's gonna be 800 lots, and we're gonna stretch from Purfoy Road, and we're gonna stretch all the way over to Highway 55 to our east. And we'll have a connection out to Highway 55 eventually, but it takes us several years to build um, that far away. As I look across the site plan, you'll see a lot of different things like our amenity center that overlooks a, a lake. And the amenity center will have tennis courts, pickleball courts, bocce courts, an indoor pool, an outdoor pool, all sorts of fitness areas, places uh, for clubs to meet. Um, it should be a great spot for building community, getting to know your neighbors, getting involved in clubs. Um, Here's an example of where we've got a couple different pocket parks on Del Webb Gardens Drive. Uh, one is going to be a community garden, which is located right here. There'll be a dog park. And then across the street, we've created just a nice area where we've added extra landscaping so that if you're walking down Gatekeeper Lane and you want to cut over to Del Webb Gardens Drive, you'll be able to walk through a nice pocket park. A lot of our parks, they have benches in them. Uh, we try to create some shade so that way you can sit at a bench, enjoy reading a book, um, becomes a great spot to walk your dog to and have a destination, or maybe it's a spot where you meet a friend. As you look through the community also, you can see there in red, that's where our model park is going. We'll have nine decorated models in that location. And then back over to the west side here, which is where most of our development activity is going on. Um, and you can see even that there's another pocket park right here in the middle of our uh, first phase that we'll be working in. With a name like Carolina Gardens, we're anticipating a lot of residents might want to put a garden in their yard. In addition, we'll create a community garden because some folks, in addition to whatever they like to do in their yard, might want to work with their neighbors and have a community area where you could get a plot and grow some vegetables or some specialized plants that you want to try out here in North Carolina. At Del Webb, people aren't the only residents we have that like to socialize. So we do create dog parks within our neighborhoods. Here's an example of one. We've situated it near a stormwater pond. It just creates a nice little spot where you can bring your dog down, let them run around. Uh, we've got two gates in and out of the dog park that allows you to get your dog on and off the leash without any issue. It's just a nice spot to come uh, enjoy an afternoon. I'm out here in one of our neighborhood pocket parks. This is just a small gathering area. You can see it's in the middle of a bunch of constructed homes. And it's just a place where we like to put in some park benches, maybe a seat wall, some landscaping for shade. And that way residents can have a place to walk the dog to, maybe meet a friend, um, bring a picnic lunch. It's just a nice little area to have a Friday at 5 meetup. Everybody can bring their dinner or they could bring a beverage of choice and just hang out at the park together. Here's another example of one of our pocket parks. It's at the end of the block. It's in an area that we're able just to create a nice little getaway. Nice landscaping place to sit down on a park bench in the shade, grab a dog bag if you need one, and just relax.